Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the money blunders of IT professionals in India, especially the skill hub. IT professionals in India are earning more salaries, but still they are facing challenges in terms of finance. So let's see what are those top blunders that has been done by most of the employees or most of the IT professionals in India. So as you know, IT industry has been uh, evolved very rapidly in India and it's been the top contributor uh, for the GDP's uh, GDP growth. Similarly, we also have seen a lot of uh, the bank defaulters because of the poor financial management. So if you look at these are the common money mistakes made by IT professionals. Overspending on lifestyle expenses. So many IT professionals tend to spend on luxury items like dining, travel and uh, uh, purchasing the unwanted things like that. And lack of investment planning, ignoring tax implications. So not only these three which I have listed out here, so let me read it out. We have got like overspending and financial stress. Okay. So avoid unnecessary expenses and always have a budget. Ignoring the debt. So face your debts head and create a repayment plan. Not saving for emergencies also. Of another failure that the employees or professionals are facing challenges build an emergency fund for unexpected situations okay neglecting a retirement planning start early and investment uh, invest in retirement funds though it may be risky but uh, have a look at uh, the possible investment plans for you and also you're not diversifying investments explore various investment options to reduce risk okay ignoring tax planning is also one of the challenges that the industry is seeing understand a tax saving instruments and not negotiating salaries so research industry standards and confidently negotiate and this is the main uh, problem that the professionals are seeing not investing in professional development so because they feel that okay i can learn anything online I can do anything whenever I get. So it's not the case always, right? So there are a lot of new technologies which is there uh, in the market and you have to continuously learn. You have to, uh, if you have to grow, you have to continuously learn and invest time on that learning every day. Okay. So this is not specific to one course or two courses. It is a lifelong learning path that we have to make, especially in IT industry. Okay. And not having adequate insurance. Ensure your health, life and critical illness cover coverage is enabled through the insurance for you and your family. So that when there is any emergency, we don't know, right? When uh, like all of a sudden if the issue has come, then how are you going to recover out of it, right? Always make sure you have got health, life and critical illness coverage. And also relying solely on salary. Explore the side hustles and passive income streams. So most of the people are doing it. However, they're thinking of a kind of, uh, yeah, whatever it is, right? Whether it is a uh, hotel business or whether it is a, a market or trading or whether it is a, a real estate, whatever it is, right? So try to plan it out properly and explore the most possible second income okay otherwise if you try and keep on filling which is fine still but until unless you try to learn and implement with the new plans right so then you'll be able to understand it easily so when you're not managing your finance properly with the reasons i said right overspending and financial stress ignoring debt not saving for emergencies, neglecting retirement planning, not diversifying investments, ignoring tax planning, 
not negotiating salaries, not investing in professional development, not having adequate insurance and relying solely on salary. So these are the 10 money blunders which is uh, like IT professionals are doing in India, not only in India, everywhere, most of the cases. So if you are missing out your finance management, these are the impacts like this is the impact which you can see a delayed retirement planning okay they'll overlook uh, the retirement planning and reduce the wealth accumulation if you start late you'll have a limited wealth on your account so debt accumulation so excessive spending without adequate planning can result in debt accumulation so which is where you'll be uh, repaying interest and things like that so which is going to affect your long-term financial goals okay so these are the strategies that you can consider for financial prudence like create a budget emergency fund debt management and financial education is always the crucial along with your professional career okay so make sure you follow all of this and most of you are already aware of this but this is just a kind of refresher which i'm giving here in this video so this is how you need to save like the importance of financial literacy so we are skilled in terms of technology however we need to be skilled in managing the finance as well right which is crucial for it professionals and if you have a lot of debts and you have got a lot of other dependencies it's going to be a very hard for you to learn any two new technologies and also it's going to be very hard for you to work in the work environment right so this impact is going to be there on each and every decision which you are going to take right so always have the right financial literacy of course sometimes you may fail but try to overcome out of it but still you plan for a better financial literacy i mean financial management having the right literacy in terms of uh the career or in terms of uh, the managing the taxes or investments long-term goals okay the professional developments so everything depends on one single point which is financial management okay so that's about it thanks for watching the video